if sine theta is equal to 3 over 5, find the value of cos theta. Now, to solve the value of cos theta, let's first recall our three basic trigonometrical identities. Our sine angle, our cosine angle, and our tangent angle. Sine angle represented with so, which is opposites over hypotenuse. Our cosine angle represented with car, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. And our tangent angle represented with toa, it's opposite side over the adjacent side. Now, from the question, we're told that we should find cos theta. Now, let's represent this given value on a right angle triangle. So, we have a right angle triangle like this. This is angle 90 degrees. And let's say this is a required, the angle given theta. This side, which is facing this angle, is the opposite side. And we have been told that it is 3. From what we are given, opposite side is 3. Then the hypotenuse is 5. Then the side facing the right angle, which is the hypotenuse, is 5. But we do not know this side. Let's call it x. Now we are asked to find cos theta. And cos theta, represented as car, is adjacent. Now the value of the side representing the adjacent is x, because we do not know that yet. Then the hypotenuse has been given from the question is 5. So in order for us to determine the adjacent side, let's invoke Pythagoras into this problem for us to recover this side that is unknown. So let's say this is C, this is A, and this is B. From Pythagoras rule, the hypotenuse side, the square of the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of the squares of the two other sides. A squared plus B squared. Now, our C is 5 squared. Our A is 3 squared plus B. We say let's represent with X squared. Now, to find the value of X, our X squared becomes 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2. X squared equal to 25. 5 by 2 is 25 minus 3 power 2 is 9. Therefore, our x is equal to the square root of 16. 25 minus 9 is 16. x equal to 4. Now, we have found the value of the adjacent side, which is 4. So, we cannot determine our cosine angle, cos theta. So, our cos theta, cos theta, which is defined as the adjacent over hypotenuse is not equal to 4 over 5. So our cos theta is equal to 4 over 5. And that concludes the solution to the problem. Thank you so much.